Hi, I'm Sarah, and the answer to this week's riddle is snake defense mechanisms. All animals defend themselves, including snakes and even humans. Just imagine if you are walking around in the woods and people start attacking you with sticks. Ah! Yeah, 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 no, 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 help, help, come get me, help! Ah! Whew. That was scary. And when animals are scared, they defend themselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Duh, 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 duh. Help, help, come get me, help. Ah! So here's a question for you and the speckled king snake I just found. Can speckled king snakes and other snakes punch and kick and karate chop and call 911? No. That's right, we can't, but we have other defense mechanisms. And while biting is one of them, it's usually a last resort. Oh, thanks. So this week we're gonna study these defense mechanisms with the help of student naturalists and snakes we find around ONSC. Let's start with this speckled king snake. I found her in the dead leaves and she defended herself by rattling her tail to scare and confuse me. Tail rattling is a common defense mechanism seen in king snakes, rat snakes, and of course rattlesnakes. Besides tail rattling, this king snake also produced an unpleasant musky smell to discourage me from eating her. Musky nor oh, smelling bad is another really common snake defense mechanism, and it's especially famous among garter snakes. I'll let student naturalists tell you more. So, got the snake, and he smells really bad, and that's his defense um, mechanism. So he, so like it's saying, hey, uh, I'm gonna, I smell bad, so <laughs> if you eat me, I'm gonna, like, smell really bad in your mouth, and you're gonna have stinky breath. <laughs> so. Do you guys agree? I think it smells like fresh dog poop that, okay, like, literally just like came out. Yeah. But at first, I couldn't smell it that well. Can I hold him? It's guys, okay. if you've smelled the, if you've held the snake, smell your hands. Yeah. Yeah, it smells like a wet oh. dog to me. Ringneck snakes also smell bad, but it's not their only line of defense. Here's some student naturalists to tell you more. Okay, I d we just found a ringneck snake, and um, and its defense mechanism is its bright colors, and yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really yeah. Cute. Lots of animals use warning colors, including me. Animals that use warning colors are called aposematic by scientists. Don't mess with us. Speaking of warning colors, check out this milk snake. It was using warning colors, but in a special way. See, milk snakes use mimicry as a defense mechanism. Mimicry is mistaken identity, where one organism looks like something dangerous to trick predators into thinking they are dangerous too. Many scientists think that the milk snake is mimicking the venomous coral snake to trick predators and defend itself. What a beautiful defense mechanism. Of course, mimicry doesn't have to be brightly colored. Many non-venomous water snakes mimic the venomous cottonmouth. The opposite of warning colors is camouflage. Camouflage is a defense mechanism to blend in with the environment and hide from predators. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm over here. The copperhead is my favorite example of camouflage. They're so well camouflaged, I've only seen a few of them at ONSC. Can you spot the copperhead in this picture? Copperheads are venomous, but not to hurt people. They're venomous to hunt prey, and if they are left alone, they won't attack humans. Only scared copperheads defend themselves by biting. They would much prefer to stay hidden and left alone. I took this picture and then walked away. I wasn't scared at all. Rattlesnakes are also venomous, but they don't use their venom to protect themselves. Instead, they use camouflage to hide from predators. But if that doesn't work, at the end of their tail, they have a rattle. They can shake this rattle to confuse, scare, and warn predators. One of the reasons I love rattlesnakes so much is because they're so polite. With their tails, they say, um, I'm kind of scared. Um, could you please go away? Um, I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to do anything drastic. If you don't scare a snake, it won't scare you. Speaking of <sighs> scary, 
looking scary as a defense mechanism, and the hognose does this better than most. The hognose snake is not only the cutest snake in the forest, but it can puff up its body, make a hissing noise, rattle its tail, and do its best to look scary. This defense mechanism gives it lots of nicknames, like the hissing viber. It also can play dead as another defense mechanism. Every snake on the planet has a set of defense mechanisms to help them survive. When they feel scared, they defend themselves the best they can, just like a human would do. So, just remember, the next time you find a snake that smells really bad, or is wearing bright warning colors, or is well camouflaged, or looking really, really scary, or it's rattling its tail, those are defense mechanisms because the snake is scared and it doesn't want to get hurt. Thanks for watching. It's time for me to call it a day and for her to go back into the wild.